Tonight, unified police detectives continue their investigation into the death of 42-year-old Akosita Kafusi. Her body was found near Saltaire this past August by joggers. Police say it appears she was shot to death. New specialist Alex Cabrero joins us live in Salt Lake County tonight. And Alex, her memory lives on, and tonight was an important night for her family. Now, all because of two of her nephews, Dini, they are football players for you went to high school in Vernal. They got this idea to raise awareness about an issue that is close to their hearts, and they got the whole team involved. You can learn a lot of things from football, like dedication, sportsmanship, and teamwork. But at you went to high school tonight, the players also learned about something more important than the final score, because when their game ended, they got to go home. Everyone at the game now knows thousands of women never got to go home. You see, you went to players were wearing masks to raise awareness for missing and murdered indigenous women. Teammate Sabron Mountain Lion and Nate Sarawap's aunt was shot to death this past August. Akosita Kafusi's body was found near Salt Air in Salt Lake County. <laughs> During her funeral, family members talked about how much they loved her and missed her. Murder is the third leading cause of death for indigenous women, but to them, Kafusi is more than a statistic. Losing her destroy our family. So when you went to players took the field tonight wearing those masks, it gave the often unspoken issue a stage, a field where sure, winning is important, but like with any good lesson, there's so much more. I miss her, I love her. Yeah, that was pretty cool to see what those players did out there in Vernal, but Kafusi's case still remains unsolved. If you have any information about it at all, Unified Police would certainly like to hear from you. Mike and Dini? Alex, a nice effort by those players. Thank you.